So I was really shocked and I was worried. And also I was freezing because it was raining so much. I was really cold and I wanted to be on time for school. So I was really worried and nervous. This is the stop where every morning Sam waits for his bus to take him to secondary school. Yet he says just last week a new driver refused him on the journey. I was walking to my bus stop like normal but it was drenching with rain and when I got on my bus I could normally get my bus pass out but I couldn't get out as my hands were so slippery. I asked the bus driver please may you help me get it out and he went no and then I went please may I go on the bus for today and he went no. He says that his hands were too cold from the rain to get his pass out of the holder to scan it but that the bus driver could clearly see it. Well he could see the front side of it with my photo and the expired date so he could know when it expires and he could also see this number which if he typed it in it would come up with my bus pass and then he could see that as well but he didn't but he couldn't see the other side and he had to see it he said his parents were both at work at the time but luckily a neighbor was able to take him to school my, the third neighbour I knocked on, they took me to school because they normally take their two kids to school. But I was grateful enough to get taken to school, but if it wasn't for them, then I wouldn't have been able to go to school. His mum has since complained to Stagecoach. If his friend's mum hadn't have taken him, then how would, he, how would he have got to school? Would he have been safe? You put your trust that when you, they go to the bus stop, that, and he always goes to the bus stop and meets with his friends, so to keep safe. And yeah, then he's left wandering around trying to find out how to get to school. And so I'm, I, was, I was just, I was just disgusted, absolutely disgusted. A spokesperson for Stagecoach said, "We were very concerned to hear this. We expect our drivers to make decisions best on the welfare of the customer involved." We are looking into the exact circumstances and we are very sorry that on this occasion this passenger did not feel he could travel with us. We will review what happened in this case and ensure any lessons are learnt for the future. Although Sam's bus journeys have been running smoothly ever since, he certainly won't forget the day that he was left out in the cold. This is Christina Curtis for KMTV.